Many are interested in understanding event sequence data, that is, multiple series of timestamped events. For example, web analysts analyze clickstream data to optimize their website design, airlines analyze flight schedules to better plan flying times, and hospitals track how patients move through a hospital to deliver better care. In this paper, we explore how to support comparison between two event sequence datasets. We propose a novel visualization technique we call matrix wave, which displays a transition matrix for each step in the sequence, rotated and concatenated side by side in a zigzag manner. Since we developed this technique in the context of web clickstream data, here each event corresponds to a web page. By aggregating identical pages and transitions between pages, we can construct three transition matrices for each pair of steps in the event sequence. By using matrices, we address the limitations of popular node link visualization techniques, such as the Sankey diagram, which include many crossing edges. One challenge with putting matrices side by side is that it becomes hard to trace user paths through the visualization. To support pathing and avoid duplication of pages, we rotate the transition matrices and concatenate them in a zigzag pattern. To show where people leave the site, we add additional drop-off nodes to each matrix. Based on this layout, we encode two different datasets using size and color to support comparison across pages and transitions between pages. The size of each page reflects the volume, and the color represents a positive or negative difference between the two datasets. Similarly, for links, we use size to represent volume and color to represent difference. Now let's follow an analyst as he uses Matrix Wave to examine the effectiveness of a website after a major redesign. John loads two datasets into Matrix Wave for comparison, one from before the redesign and one from after. At a glance, he sees a lot of differences, but all that information is a bit overwhelming. He filters the data to look at the first two steps. He sorts the pages according to changes in traffic. The home page immediately pops out. It has a lot of links, but many of them are purple, which means that traffic is down. He hovers over those links and sees that many of those links are no longer visited from the home page. They must no longer be linked on the home page. There's a 35% drop in traffic to the forums and a huge jump in traffic to help, 390%. He clicks on the link connecting the home page and the help page. Then he expands the dataset to the next few steps to dig further. The interface highlights all traffic through the home page help page link using a blue line to show the path and fading out nodes and links that are not part of the path. From the help page, he sees people go on to four different pages. There's a huge jump in visits to the video site where some of the help videos are hosted. Thus, he pins the video site in step three to see what happens next. He's surprised to see that everyone leaves after step four. So visitors who go on to the help site after the home page are leaving within a couple of pages. To investigate further, he looks at the path-specific traffic. He finds that no user followed these paths before the redesign. This must be due to a new link structure. But still, the drop-off nodes are all bright orange. Step 4 has a 63% increase, Step 5 has a 100% increase, and Step 6 has a 170% increase. Looks like people are leaving the site faster than with the previous design. John needs to investigate further. In a laboratory study, we compared Matrix Wave to the established Sankey diagram and found that participants were more accurate with Matrix Wave and generally preferred it over the Sankey diagram.